Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. And it says, may the God and may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the powers of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'll read it once more. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, we all pray and we have hope. Hope is expectation, trust, and confidence that when we pray, God hears our prayers. That when, when we lift them up to you, we, we wait and we have expectation. We believe that God's word is true. But God wants us all to be filled with joy and peace. That's the key to this verse today. He wants us all to not be stressing over with things that are happening in our lives, to be at peace. And we are at peace because we have his Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit that God puts in each and every one of us. I always talk about how in this journey with God, we have the spirit and we have the flesh and, and they're constantly battling with each other. And, and it's a battle. The flesh battles against the spirit and the spirit battles with the flesh. But we hear God's voice. We know that he is with us. He guides us. He protects us. He shows us. In Matthew 10, verses 19 and 20, it says, but when they believe, when, but, but when they deliver you up, do not worry about what you will, and when they deliver you up, do not worry about what you would, what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father who speaks in you. This is the Holy Spirit is talking about. We don't need to worry about what's, you know, how we're going to do this or that. God will speak to us. Many, 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 many verses in the Bible. Moses was talking about, I cannot speak. And Jesus was, the Lord was telling him, just go there. We just need to go there. We just need to do what God wants. We don't have to worry about the outcome or, or what's going to happen. We just need to have the faith and believe that when we go and do what God wants us to do, everything's going to work out just the way he wants it to. So we cannot be afraid. Never, never, ever be afraid. Because when we are speaking, it's him who speaks to us. And, it, and we speak the words that people need to hear. Not on our own, but when Jesus was walking there, he never spoke on his own authority. He was always speaking of what the Father was telling them to say. We are the same. The Lord tells us and guides us what to speak. In 1 Thessalonians chapter, five, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, For our gospel did not come to you in words only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in much assurance as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. The gospel, the, the word, is, is powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. The spirit of the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord dwells in each and every one of us. I know it does. God has us all on this journey. We don't have to worry and stress about anything in this world. Just be guided by the Spirit. We always ask the Spirit to lead us. Before we do anything, we just say, Lord, 
Give me the words. Lord, guide me with what you want me to do. And he will. No doubt. In John 16, 13, it says, However, when he, the, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Amen. The Spirit will tell us what to say, what to do. We are all should be guided by the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Let us remember that today. It is the Spirit of God in us that people will see that we should do. Yesterday we talked about deeds and works and and today it's just, it just carries on because those deeds and works are being driven by the Spirit, the Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. What we hear, we speak. And what we do, he speaks and tells us to do. Praise the Lord. In John 14, 27, it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Amen. When we walk in God's spirit, we have peace. So let this peace be with you. Do not be afraid in your heart. Do not be troubled about anything or anyone, the things, the troubles in our lives, all the situations. Do not let these things trouble your heart and do not be afraid of anything or anyone but walk in God's love and your peace and be guided by his spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. We truly do thank you for just reminding us that we have your spirit in us. We are to walk in your spirit and help us to walk in your spirit. We are not to be afraid of anyone, any man, anything. We are not even to be troubled in our hearts, as your word tells us today. And if we're walking in your spirit, we don't have those troubles. We don't have we don't have those things in our hearts that we need to just surrender to you. We know, Lord, that you are with us. You will never leave us nor forsake us and that you guide us and bless each and every person today. Fill them with your spirit today and your love and your mercy and your grace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord today.